Hi there. Now this is a follow-up to my previous video on the triple scalar product. In this video, what we're going to do is run through a numerical example. I've given you three vectors, A, B and C, and asking you to work out the triple scalar product for A dotted with B crossed with C, B dotted with C crossed with A, and C dotted with A crossed with B. And then, what do you notice? So, if you'd like to have a go at this, just give you a moment then to pause the video. But I'll take you slowly through the work solution if there is a problem or you want to just check your answers. So, remember what was that triple scalar product? Well, if you looked at the previous video, I showed you that it was given by this result here. So, for the first one then, where we've got to work out A dotted with B crossed with C, let's just put that down here. We'll just put then A dotted with B crossed with C. We've got to set up then our determinant here. So doing that then, what we've got is A1, A2, A3, which will be the components 1, 2 and minus 1. And then we have the components of the vector B, which will be 3, minus 1, and 2. And then same for C, that will be 2, 3, and 1. And working out the determinant then for this, what we get is the 1 multiplied by minus 1 times the 1, which is minus 1. And then we do minus 3 times 2, which is minus 6. And then we take this number, but we make it negative, so it's minus 2 times, and then we do 3 times 1, which is 3, and then minus 2 times 2, which is 4. Then for the minus 1 here, it will be 3 times 3, which is 9, minus 2 times minus 1. So it's minus minus 2, so it's going to be plus 2. And if you work this out, we end up with minus 16. So that's A dotted with B cross with C. We've also got to look at doing B dotted with C cross A. So in the same way, B dot C crossed with A. Then for this one, set up our determinant again. And we start with the components of B. So it's 3 minus 1, 2. So 3 minus 1. 2. Then we look at the components of C, so that's 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, and then finally components of A, which are 1, 2, minus 1. And again, if we work this out, then this turns out to be equal to the 3, multiplied by 3 times minus 1, which is minus 3, minus 2 times 1, so that's minus 2. Then we have the negative of this, so that's minus minus 1 multiplied with 2 times minus 1, so that's minus 2, and then you've got minus the result of 1 times 1, so that's minus 1. And then finally, plus the 2 here, times 2 times 2, which is 4, and then minus the 1 times the 3, so that's minus 3. And again, if you work this out, you end up with minus 16. So can you see that what we're getting here is exactly the same result? And I'll leave it to you to do the next one because similarly, all right, it turns out that C dotted with A crossed with B, believe it or not, turns out to be the same result, minus 16. And I did this to verify this result. And that was that A dotted with B crossed with C is exactly the same as B dotted with C crossed with A, exactly the same as C dotted with A crossed with B. So, hope you're able to see that and now work out the triple scalar product. Now in the next video, what I'll be doing is showing you how we can use the triple scalar product then to work out the volume of a parallel piped and a tetrahedron. So hope you'll have a look at that if you want to learn how to do that.